This is Local Edition. Brad Pomerantz here in the Inland Empire. We are joined by Peter Aldana. He is the Riverside County Assessor, County Clerk, and Recorder. And, sir, I want to speak with you about the housing crisis of, I guess, the last decade. Mm -hmm. It's back in the news. As a result of the Treasury Secretary, Mr. Mnuchin, he's been testifying on Capitol Hill a few weeks back, and he was asked about foreclosures mm -hmm. and the method in which the bank he owned, One West, went mm -hmm. through the foreclosure process. Right. The reason I bring it up, sir, mm -hmm. is Riverside County was foreclosure central. Absolutely. San Marino County was mm -hmm. foreclosure central. Right. But we're a few years out, right. or are we? That's what my question to you. Well, yeah, I can tell you we were the center of that right. whole foreclosure crisis, right? The real estate meltdown really was here in the Inland Empire was felt, you know, greater than any place else. Oh, it was it terrible. Was, it really was. So um, I recall at the time uh, median sale prices were somewhere in the 400,000s in Riverside County in 2006, and it wasn't long before median sale prices were under 200,000. Mm -hmm. I remember reading an extended piece by the LA Times. This is not your county, but mm -hmm. I think it's still relevant. They did a piece on Hesperia, okay. which is part of San Bernardino mm -hmm. County. And Hesperia was building track homes right. left, right, and center. Mm -hmm. And they were selling these homes for $500,000. And in one year, right. they dropped to 125 mm -hmm. and couldn't even sell them. Yes. Right. And that, that you know, it's the story of our county as well, right. not maybe as drastic as that, although right. wherever there was new development. Um, right. And, you know, there's some interesting uh, loan process. Oh, lending, yeah, that would be a good way to say it. Right? Right. So um, we knew we were a little bit in trouble and we saw that median sale price over 400000 but our median income in the county was in the low 50s, right? So how, right. how is that sustainable? Of course. So um, at one point, um, as we did proactive reviews of property values. And um, we'll talk about that yeah, soon. Mm -hmm. We were uh, reviewing some four hundred to 500,000 properties a year out of our roughly 1 million properties that we have. Which is... Stunning. And let's do go there then, sure. because what you're referencing is Prop 8. Yes. And we're not talking about the Prop 8 that dealt with marriage equality. Right, exactly. We're talking about the Prop 8, 8 right. which dealt with, or deals with, continues mm -hmm. to deal with. Because of Prop 13, your property um, taxes can only go up a certain amount right. every year. Yes. But if there's a decrease in value, mm -hmm. then Prop 8 kicks in. Right. Explain Prop, Prop 8. Prop 8 really, essentially what it says is you're going to be assessed at the lowest possible value um, between your Prop 13 value, which right. is established when you buy your property. Exactly. It can only go up 2% a year right. for inflation. Um, or current market value as of January 1 of each year. Right. Whichever is the lower of the two values, that's our job as the assessor to enroll for tax purposes. And what's so interesting about Prop 8 is it's your job to be proactive. Mm -hmm. We as homeowners don't need to apply for Prop 8. We can, right? but you're supposed to go out and, and figure it out. Yeah, we agree. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we think so. Yeah. Uh, I think previously in the uh, previous rece recessions, mm. that wasn't done as effectively. Mm. Um, my predecessor, Larry Ward, I was his assistant assessor at the oh, time. Okay. Um, we put together some um, processes that we could do mass appraisal, some automate, uh, automated right. mass appraisal. So it made it, our staff gave them ability to, to look at tens of thousands of properties per appraiser instead of individually looking at each one. So at the bottom, mm -hmm. you said there were about a million properties in the county? We have uh, about a million assessments. And 500,000 or approaching 500,000 were benefiting from Prop 8? I believe the number was 450,000. I mean, yeah, almost half. Was, yeah, over 300,000 single family residences and then you have commercial properties and other types of properties, you know, vacant land and such. And that must have been tough for the county. It was. It I was, mean, yeah. th that's a huge number right. of properties because that's the money you take in. Right. We, $242 billion was our peak roll prior to last year. And the bottom, once the uh, recession hit, we were just under $200 billion. So Ooh, over a, a $40 billion hit. Dollar, that's uh, a big hit, hit. Which translates into billions of dollars right. in taxes. So now we're out of the recession. Mm -hmm. How is Prop 8... Is it still a tool that's used often in Riverside County? Yeah, you know, uh, we haven't seen our sale prices return to that peak. Okay. Right? So we're somewhere around 350000 as a, a median sale price, which is lower than the 400 plus. But, but that, that may Significant be... Significant progress, but, right? But that may be good. I mean, do we it want does. the hyper hysteria right. yeah. of, of the last decade? And, and that's what's been interesting to see and probably good for the county is that it's been a, a gradual increase. Right. Five, seven percent a year, as opposed to those spikes of fifteen, right. twenty percent a year. Right. So, um, I think it does make 
uh, property affordable for many people in Riverside County, but at the same time, we're getting to that point, uh, as we talked about a little earlier, right. that um, it, we're going to get to the point where that affordability index isn't um, what it was. So, no, I hear you. So, we so Prop seen, 8, so where are we with Prop 8 now? How many mm -hmm. properties are benefiting from Prop 8 now in the county? Um, about? About 120,000 oh, single-family so residences, and lower, there's right. several thousands of other kinds of properties. So much, but, much right, lower. Right, much lower. So let's talk about affordability generally. And I know that you're not an economist, right. so we're not looking forward, sure. but we're looking back a bit, uh -huh. but it's instructive. Uh -huh. So you indicated that property values have been increasing at a more... I'll say sustainable rate mm -hmm. of about 5% a year in Riverside County, is right. that right? Mm -hmm. But are wages increasing at 5% a year? Yeah, that we haven't not really so seen. Not yeah, so not much, so right? Much. So it, there is a lot, there's not a lot of inventory. My, my understanding from talking sure, to real sure. estate experts is that the inventory is not out there. People aren't really necessarily willing to sell right. because they're going to have to buy something significantly more expensive. And, and can it's, they so, make that it's interesting. I have a, a goofy theory. Mm -hmm. You want to hear it? Sure. So my goofy theory is, well, Prop 13 may be beneficial because you don't have your property taxes increasing dramatically every year mm -hmm. with increasing property values. Because remember, pre-Prop 13, your property taxes were going up right. you know, with the market. Mm -hmm. But then when you want to buy a new home, it's sticker mm -hmm. shock. Right. Because all of a sudden, your property taxes could double and triple yeah. based upon the value of the house. Yeah. And I think people learn from that experience. I, I, I don't know how many people I talked to in the mid-2000s right. when they bought a new house. They complained to me, said, oh my gosh, my property taxes have tripled, and that added right. three or four hundred dollars to my payment per month. Exactly. And that is Prop 13. So, mm -hmm. look, I know that you as the assessor, there's nothing you can do about property values, mm -hmm. but where does Riverside County go? Because, look, it's continuing to become more and more popular. Mm -hmm. As L.A. County expands, right. people start moving into East right. Vale, Harupa, right. you know, Riverside City, Lake Elsa, and all these great towns mm -hmm. in, in this region. Right. Do you just kind of be supportive as the assessor? Our job is simply yeah. to value property rights. Right. So uh, w our job is to make sure that all of that new construction, somehow we manage to find the resources to value it each right. year. And that was a big challenge in 2005 and six, trying to get to all that new construction, try to, to accurately appraise that property. But the good news is you are working to be more user friendly. Sure. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that because right. you know it can be challenging dealing right. with government, I mm -hmm. must say. So no. tell us about your new 21st century system. No, well, we have half of our shop has a 21st okay. century system. Okay, you're getting there. Yeah, we're, uh, I'm the assessor clerk and recorder. So on our clerk and recorder side, we uh -huh. actually have a new system that uh, we put in place, went live about a year and a half ago. Okay. With. So most of the kinks are out now. So we've, we've got some um, some really nice online features now, makes it uh, a lot of our services more accessible to the public. Uh, shorter lines because we have kiosks that right. are self-serve kiosks and you can get a lot of the work done before standing in line. So we're really proud of that and it's allowed us to provide essentially the same services and expand our services without adding more people, right? So it, it's been very successful. And well, how the residents taken to it? Have they been pleased with the new system? Yeah, we've system? heard nothing but good things. We, we continue to add some features to it, but yeah, we've heard. What about the assessor side? The assessor is it time side, to go it, into the 21st century? It is century? time, and we're working on it. We have a new property tax system that we're, um, mm. is being built by a t company called Thompson Reuters. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I know that's them, a sure. very large company. We're very confident they'll get to a uh, to the point where we can actually go live on right. it. Well, we're in testing phase right now, though, okay. so well, it's, good a, luck. it's a tough tough process. He is Peter Thank Aldana. You. He is the Riverside County Assessor, County Clerk and Recorder. My name is Brad Palmer. It's the Inland Empire. It's a local edition.